Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to me. No. Okay, good evening everyone, welcome back. Um, thanks for joining me again. I'm gonna get back to the art this week. I hope you did appreciate the varnishing um, video from last week. I'll put a card here, hopefully, if that works. Tonight we are going to be doing another canvas, a new canvas, but again, I'm gonna be trying something new and that is going to be a black, a black base. And on that base, I'm gonna be pouring a lot of iridescent colors yellows, oranges, reds, you know, somewhat fiery. So hopefully we should end up with a nice black canvas and some fire, iridescent, fiery colors traveling across. Um, my plan is to blow from the middle out to each corner and have the, have the canvas, we'll hopefully end up having it as a sort of diamond. So that, that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna lay down the black base and I'll bring you back in when I'm about to lay the colors down. I've got my black base laid down. It's really weird looking at a, a black canvas. It's the first time I've done this. Obviously, I've done what a, a dark blue, but never a solid black, and it's it's a bit creepy. Um, like I say, my my colours are, are somewhat sort of fiery. So I'm going to start with a white, a yellow, a gold, back to white one more time, then a, a, an orange, and then a red. So. They're going to be my colours. I'm hoping the white kind of brings out the colours because I think the colours straight on a black background might mute them out quite a bit. So the white gives it a bit of a, hopefully a bit of a base. And it's going to be, it's going to be a straight line pour for all, all of the colours on top of each other across the canvas. And then like I say, blowing out from the middle to each corner. Right, okay, so starting with the white. Then the yellow. Then some gold. And some orange. And then, should I go for some more white? Maybe just a quick pass of white. And then finally the red. And then it's time for the blowout. I'm just gonna blow it together just to reduce the size of the um, the acrylics on the background. All 
All right, so not not the fiery colours that I was expecting, that's for sure. I've ended up with some really great yellow, some really vibrant, what's turned into some really vibrant magenta -y sorts of colour. Um, but I really, really like it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stick with it. I, it's the first time I've got some cell action, but I might end up blowing those out anyway. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweak this and see if we can get something good going on. Okay, so I didn't end up with the colours I was expecting to get. Like I said, I, I was aiming for some sort of fiery sort of colours and I've just I've got some really vibrant yellows and pinks and the metallic or the iridescent colours are evident throughout, which is really, really lovely. Um, I'm so happy with it. I think it, it looks great. I'm not going to touch this any more than, than what we've got here. So I hope it dries as well as it is, or as well as it looks right now. I'm going to quickly torch it. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. This is, this is, this is brilliant. And the black base is, you, you know, it's been hidden by a lot of the colour, and all, but I've still got some negative space around in the corners. Oh, I'm in love with this piece. I think it's brilliant. I love the vibrancy and the metallics. I'll bring you in for a close-up as usual, so hopefully I can catch some of the metallics while I'm bringing you around the art. But I hope you love it as much as I do, because this is, this is probably one of, one of the best so far. Mm -hmm. 